Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys my own interpretation of the differences between Asian makeup and US makeup. Now the two styles are very different so let's get started shall we? In one eye I put on enlargement lenses and the other for color only. If you can't tell by now, I'm splitting my face down in the middle and doing one style on each side. As for face, I'm using a BB cream for a softer glowy look. I noticed that for a lot of Asian makeup, they focus mainly on brightness and glowiness and dewiness of the skin and definitely the foundation looks very clean and there's no sign of wearing foundation. So here I'm doing my best to try to make my skin look dewy and healthy and glowy. For the US makeup side, I'm using Revlon Colorstay foundation. We all know it's a very thick foundation and has full coverage. I'm gonna make sure for this side I cover everything up very well and also use a powder to set everything so that I have a matte finish. As for contour and highlight, the US style has a lot more definition compared to the Asian makeup and here you can see I'm using a very pigmented bronzer and later I'm going to use a very brightening highlight. It's very clear that this side has a lot more definition and contrast compared to the other. And just a disclaimer, again, this is definitely my own interpretation and my own opinion on the two styles. So please don't take offense in anything and let's go on. Now for brows, I'm going to make a higher arch on this side, defining the outer thirds of my brows and kind of lifting the whole appearance. And as for the other side, I'm going to make a straighter brow. I'm thickening the appearance of the entire brow, making it appear like I have more brow hairs and that way everything will look straighter as well. I think you can better see the difference between the two sides here. One side is very arched and defined and the other side is straighter and thicker. As for shadow, for the Asian makeup side, I'm just gonna use a light wash of pink to brighten up the eye and nothing fancy here, just one sweep of color and that's it. And for the other side, I'm going to use this Tarte Waterproof Liner in gold to first define a shape that I want to contour out. And then I'm just gonna go in with a dark brown shadow to define the outer and inner corners as well as the lower lash line. Then in the center of my lid, I'm going to use this gold shade to further brighten and make that center portion pop. I'm just using my finger here to dab that color in for more intensity, but you can use a brush if you wish. Now for liner, I'm going to tight line this side and also pulling down the outer corner making it have a more puppy dog appearance, very cute looking and also very enlarging. For the other side, I'm basically lining all around and making the wing very prominent and winging it upwards instead of downwards. Here you can see the difference. I love to use a sparkly white liner to brighten the inner corners when I do a puppy dog eye. And for the other side, I'm barely highlighting at all because I don't want to take away from the smokiness. And also another trick that I do is I use a taupey brown shadow to contour the back area to make my eyes look a little more droopy and doll-like. It's very obvious that one side focuses on enlargement and cuteness and the other side is more playful and sexy and don't get me wrong I love both styles and I love wearing them on different occasions and it's just interesting to compare the two styles in my opinion. Here you can see the two eyes with lashes on and also mascara. For cheeks, first I'm using this pinky shade on the right and I'm going to apply this right underneath my eye in a triangular shape. This will accentuate the eyes and also make me have a very blushed and dolly and cute appearance. For the other side, I'm using this peachy shade and I'm just applying it above the contour in a diagonal direction. This in my opinion gives a more chiseled and lifted look compared to the other side. We're almost there guys! For lips, I'm using this lip tint for the Asian makeup side and I'm just gonna dab it in the inner corners of my lips and kind of ombre it outwards creating a 
feathered look, if you will. And for the other side, I'm using a liquid lipstick. This is Trap by ColourPop. And I'm gonna kind of overdraw my lips a little bit to create a plumper look, as you can see here. Ah, it looks so weird like that. <laughs> Okay, a little trick that I do for the ombre lip is I'll use a little bit of BB cream and I'll feather out my lip line making it look very soft and also the center will look brighter as well as you can see here. And we're finished! Which side was your favorite guys? For me, I love both sides equally for different occasions. I do different looks. But comment below which one you liked and hope you guys enjoy the video as always and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye!